right, taking the family out on a tour of Hollywood, so you get to come along. Jesse, say hi. Hey. It's eerily quiet today because everybody's, I don't know, people go out of town for Memorial Day? I didn't know this. This might be kind of fun. Father, you just realized something that I would have never picked up. What is that? Well, these, these are dead TV shows. You know, the Trumps, I've never heard of these before. They're not on television anymore. Yeah, Bernie Mac's pretty much dead. Yeah, Everybody knows it. Bernie Mac? Yeah. This is my very favorite candy store ever. Love it. Don't care if everybody thinks I'm a tourist. Look at this. What is the reason for this? I don't know, but it's probably delicious. It's called Rocket Fizz, and it's on Ventura Boulevard. So if you ever get a chance to come, you better do it. They have all sorts of different like flavored sodas and whatever. Listen to me, I'm saying I'm saying sodas. I'm a regular Californian. Guess what? It's a mall! This is America. Welcome. There's like My Little Pony. Look at how pink that place is. It's beautiful. Welcome to Hollywood. Los Angeles hates to be because it's just like there are tons of people. I mean, hell, this is Memorial Day. Everybody needs to be at the beach uh, having a barbecue, something like that. But people, for some reason, are here, which is why we're here too. It was a good opportunity because it's a lot less crowded, but. The Dolby Theater! Yeah, it makes me laugh, right? Yeah. It makes you a little bit sad, though. It is a little sad. It is a little sad, to be honest. The stairs you walked up, which is the stairs that I'm going back down on, is actually the, the stairs that the stars walk up for the Academy Awards. Celebrities can walk up stairs too. Really interesting. I don't know, I guess I wish I wasn't so cynical to all of this. I should probably go find my family. So we're walking up to see, that's where they film Jimmy Kimmel Live. And we're walking right out onto the Hollywood Walk of Fame. The it's just a mall. It's sad. And do not take anything from anyone. They will make you pay for it. <laughs> also, don't take pictures of any of the people because they'll make you pay for those too. These actually say to Sid Grauman. I hope I'm getting that last name right. But Sid used to own the Chinese theater. In fact, he created the Chinese theater. Of course, not himself. He had a lot of help, but it became a staple of Hollywood. Yep, there you go, the Chinese theater. So I guess he knew a lot of Hollywood stars, and one of them apparently came by as they were finishing it up tripped in the wet cement, and Sid just thought it was a great way to commemorate all the talent that this town had, so thanks, Sid. A little bit of trivia that everyone wants to know. Possibly, supposedly, allegedly, the biggest womanizer in Hollywood. I don't know. As soon as he hits on me, I'll let you know. It's when you know you've made it.
right, I didn't know if you could hear those crazy people talking in the background, but of course they're all here to save our souls. Very sweet of them to think so much about that. Um, sorry, I had someone in the background. I was like, get out of me. This is my vlog. I mean, this is the, this is the um, piano. It might not be on, so it might not play. But if you walk across it, it actually has sens sensors, and it's right across from the Chinese theater. Someone's playing it. See? Isn't that awesome? Hollywood would have an overpriced candy shop and a photo of M&M made out of M&M's. We are in the candy shop. Oh look, it's Jimmy Kimmel. We are in the candy shop suite, which is actually uh, attached to the mall that the Academy Awards is held, are held in. If you see celebrities, children hand holding like sweet bags, like possibly during the Academy Awards, this is where they went. So this is the location. I don't know, kind of a neat tidbit, I guess. Oh, it's made out of jelly beans, right? Oh, he's not made out of M&M's, he's made out of jelly beans. Jelly bellies. So we made it to Hollywood on Memorial Day. This is nowhere close to how busy it actually is. It's normally crazy and people are going bonkers. You've already seen that there are uh, some street performers, people on the side that will charge you if you take pictures with them. It's just how they make money on the side. Some of them are actually really good at their job and they play along with the character that they're impersonating and some of them are just downright creepy and weird. I would never recommend ever, ever, ever taking a CD from anyone because they most likely will make you pay for it. So if they offer you anything, just don't take it. And it's, uh, but I mean, but other than that, like it is a, it's a really awesome experience and uh, like I'm here with my family right now and I'm excited to show them around. I kind of feel bad because I keep pushing them through the crowds, but that's kind of life here. You just move really, really quickly and um, just keep up. <laughs> so um, yeah, this is Hollywood.